Hey YouTube, Jesse here, and today I'm going to show you Windows 2000 Professional Service Pack 4 in Oracle VN VirtualBox. So let's start her up. Okay, so anyhow, now we're at the login screen. Well, this is my username. I don't want a password, so let's just click OK. <sighs> Anyhow, YouTube, this is Windows 2000. Let's open some of the apps. Let's open the IE sticks. Help. Help. Okay, help. About. It's IE6 SP1. It was, it's integrated, so you're not going to have to install IE6. It has Windows Media Player 9. Help about. Yep. Someone integrated it with them, like, probably. And here, I have OpenOffice.org 3.3. So I'm going to show you all the apps. With the OpenOffice. Alright, this is how it works with OpenOffice. Writer, OpenOffice Writer is equivalent to Microsoft Word. OpenOffice Calc is con is equivalent to Microsoft Excel. This is equivalent to Access, Draw, Visio, Impress, PowerPoint, Math, Microsoft Equation Editor. Uh, no. Okay. Let's open a text document. You can save in DocX, but I mean. If you want to save in DocX so bad, you can use Libre, but Libre is kind of slower, so I prefer Open. I use Open as my main program. I no longer use Microsoft Office, as I find Open Office a much better choice since it has better features, in my opinion, that suit well, my laptop better. Anyhow, let's play some games. Let's play Pinball. I forget some of the keys, hold on. Games. Options. Oh, here we go. Okay, I'm just gonna do left. Okay, if possible, left. Right. B. And then L, B. L. B P Oh, but it's just a space. Alright, let's do it now. Let's play pinball. Yeah, that's the game, that's pinball. Surprisingly, it runs in a virtual machine because normally virtual machines aren't used games, but that's right, it gets like a Windows 2000. Windows 2000 was the last OS before the before Windows got well, started getting bloated. Uh, let's play Minesweeper. I'm pretty good at this game, so just let me do this. Alright, so we're going to block those. See, I'm not bad at it. I'm not that bad at it. And I have Opera Web Browser. Uh, well, I have to install Opera right now, so that's going to make it install. Opera Web Browser is a very good browser. Uh, Opera, in my opinion, is just as good as Google Chrome. I like Opera. In fact, I'm going to use it on my laptop. And you want to hear something funny? Firefox 4 failed the ACID 3 test. 
Alright, Fox just got worse. That's why I don't know why people are still using the 3.x versions. I, I mean, when I used to use 3, Firefox 3.x, I used Chrome almost all the time. I barely used Firefox. It used to be better than the 2.x series. To tell you the truth, they have his upper. Yeah, that's the issue with this thing. Let's I think you need Java for Opera, so let's just install Java. Oh yeah, that was that. Yeah, let's try to look through the Windows 95 shutdown settings. At the Microsoft setting. Oh, ta-da, there we go. Perfect. And for start windows, let's look for the, the Microsoft sound. That's what I like about Windows 2000, is you can set Windows 95 sounds on it. You can't do that on Windows 98. Let's do the Microsoft sound. Right, you know what that's. Apply? Okay. I wish Windows 2000 had a clear type font. That would be pretty cool. Anyhow. Let's change the icon. Let's make it look more like Windows 98. Um, cycle bin full. Hmm. Well, we can find it. You just have to look through these. Oh, here we go. Full. Let's go for empty. Let's go apply. Let's go OK. Now what we do is we go right click properties to make it look more like 98 and you go to and you go to appearance and what you do is you go to active title bar and you can make it more like it was on 98 or you could keep it like it was on Windows 2000 I like the custom look so I would say um Go a little bit darker and make it look more like 98. Don't do too much, otherwise it won't look correct. Um, still not my liking. Let's try that. Ooh, that looks a lot 98 now. Nice. Okay. Job is complete. Maybe Opera will work right now. That's the thing is Opera works better in newer operating systems. Anyhow, that was the end of that video. Stay tuned for more videos. Next video will be Linux Mint running in VirtualBox. But so that's all I have for today. Bye, YouTube.